Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, we all know that the SNP are trying to push through these terrible reforms to the justice system. Uh, reforms that will see so many things change for the worse. Well, there is a leading uh, King's Council, KC, who said that these changes will leave Scotland with a Stalin-esque kind of legal system, where there will be no checks and balances, where there will be no real justice, where justice is administrative justice. That is to say, it will be what the executive say it will be. Justice will be at the behest of a minister's decision. There'll, no, there'll be no freedom of um, expression within a court. The judges will not have a say, because if they do something against what uh, the, the minister wants, the minister can have them removed and fired. There'll be no, um, no juries. So uh, justice will be removed from the hands of the people, where at the moment it is in the hands of the people, it will soon be not. Uh, and they're saying that it, it begins with one particular kind of crime not having a jury, but it will spread and it is deeply, deeply worrying. And it is all done under the enhancement of human rights, which is the lie that Alibaba is telling people in the hope that they believe him. But of course he's SNP and nobody, nobody believes anything they say. So we'll take a look at this and see how bad it's about to get. Here goes. Right, so this will probably be my last video of the day, unless there is a, na a major breaking news. Uh, and I will just say we are waiting on news of an intended arrest, hopefully, uh, on Operation Branch Form. So if that does come, then I will run up and do another video. But uh, unless it does, this is probably the last video outside of any kind of little flash that I do. Uh, so this will be the last chance of the day I would ask Anyone who's yet to subscribe to please do so. We need to get to 9,000 for Christmas. I think it's a great target. It's totally achievable, but it is, after all, people down to you. So I hope uh, my, my hard work is rewarded with a little bit of a single button press, which would be super. Uh, anyway, Hamza Youssef has been blasted by a leading KC over his Stalin-like legal reforms and his boasts that he wants to enhance human rights in Scotland and he doesn't mean that at all what he means is enhanced protection for people who are just like him one of his gang if you will to stop people saying or doing anything against his gang uh, he doesn't care about human rights at all after all his lot are very low on the human rights index aren't they one only has to look at certain countries where people just like him have terrible human rights uh, so it's obviously a load of old rubbish. But then it's the SNP and it's him. It's always going to be lies hidden by even bigger lies, actually. Anyway, leading KC, Thomas Ross, blasted the First Minister over his claims that he remains committed to enhancing human rights in Scotland. Which is strange because he seems to be hell-bent on destroying them. Uh, he said he was failing those in the justice sector and in the justice system. Well, of course he is. Uh, this, this claim of enhancing human rights is clearly wrong uh, because every time he turns around, he's removing rights. He's removing rights from people to people to do things, to say things, to think things, to express themselves. He's removing rights and freedoms over people in every aspect. And if you are someone who's going to court, he's going to remove your right to trial by jury. He's going to he's going to remove the rights of judges to make free uh, decisions because they now have to. Uh, do the decisions demanded of them by a quota system imposed by the executive. That This is only the thin end of a terrible wedge. Uh, and eventually, of course, it will be a single party Stalinist uh, state with whoever follows, uh, you know, Alibaba, because it won't be there for long, being um, ba ba basically being the, um, the supreme leader. Uh, very uh, North Korean, don't you think? But that's the direction of travel. You'll have that parallel. There's going to be a DMZ uh, between England and Scotland. Not to stop English people coming in, but to stop the Scots leaving and with it their money. Because after, after all, is all he's after. They want to try and extract as much money as they can before the entire regime falls over. And then they get on their private jets to some third world country that doesn't have extradition. But when you're lying on a beach, supping your Mai Tais and your Pina Coladas and earning 10%, they're not overly bothered. But anyway, Hamza Youssef has promoted, uh, provoked an anger of a leading Scottish KC over his claims that he remains committed to enhancing the rights of people of Scotland. 
Thomas Ross pointed out that his justice reforms were similar to those installed in Stalin's Russia. Oh yes, show trials. Uh, wheel in the guilty man for his trial because you decided, well, we have a quota and we haven't made it yet, so it doesn't matter who comes through that door. They're going to be guilty because the judge doesn't want to lose his job for not getting enough people put into prison today. Uh, he was referencing the controversial juryless R trials, which the Scottish government want to do a pilot on, but they're being roundly criticised by those in the justice profession, in the whole of the legal profession. In fact, every single person, there's not one person going for it. Uh, and they've all told they're not going to stand it. Um, they're not going to represent um, anyone who's arrested unless it's a jury trial. Nobody will represent them. And so the trials can't go ahead. So it's, effect it's effectively dead in the water. Because, uh, well, <laughs> unless they change the law again to say that you can be tried without representation. And I wouldn't put that past these bastards. Uh, it would mean that the R accused would get tried by just a judge rather than a jury of their peers. And the reason is that the juries tend to give what the executive call the wrong result. They tend to find people not guilty. But that doesn't help because they need people to be found guilty. But only if you're over over 25, of course. Uh, if you're under 25, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you can walk free anyway. It's a very weird system that they have, isn't it? Anyway, the First Minister made the human rights co uh, comments during a speech at the University of Strathclyde which was where he rattled the cage of Mr. Ross. The advocate claimed that his enhancement comment was completely wrong, considering the growing issues within the Justice Secretary. Uh, sorry, within the Justice Sector. Reading is hard. I apologise. Uh, on his blog, he pointed to some aspects of the European, European Convention on Human Rights, which the SNP executive is not living up to. There's plenty. And indeed, this is why this, this will fail at the first hurdle. It's why the hate... Uh, the hate laws will fail at the first hurdle as well, uh, because the, it's explicit, not implicit, explicit in the European Convention about things that you can say and do, which they're attempting to make illegal. And it's like, no, two words. And the second one is off. Anyway, he said, um, he, said he wrote, what about the other fair trial protections? Well, his government are currently considering the following example, uh, following the example of Stalin's Russia by abolishing the citizen's right to trial by jury when accused of R. He says, worse still, his justice minister gave the game away by putting the judges who will try cases without a jury on notice that the proposal is made to meet concerns that too few of these cases end up in a conviction. How will those judges work out what their government expects of them? Basically, here's your quota. Fill it or be fired. Where's justice when you're doing justice by quota. That's what's being proposed. Angela Constance is pushing ahead with the pilot despite a widespread boycott from criminal defence lawyers who believe it is a ploy to increase the number of R convictions artificially. The evidence for it has also been rubbished as examples of mock trials were used rather than real ones. And Mr Ross also pointed out that Article 5 of the ECHR is the right to liberty but that more alleged criminals are stuck on remand than ever before. And if you're on remand, you're denied your right to liberty. Even though you haven't been convicted, you have, you're not having your right of liberty. This is a very big problem for them. He said, when COVID struck, the number of, United, of untried Scots in prison stood at around 900. Under the watch of the FM and that of his predecessor, that number has more than doubled and now standing at more than 2,000. Uh, and that breaches Article 5 of the European Convention of Human Rights. He said, remember, these are citizens who've not been convicted of any criminal offence. Under what conditions are these prisoners incarcerated? Some locked up in their cells for 23 hours a day in conditions that's so bad that in 2023, an Irish judge refused to extradite a suspected criminal to Scotland because to do so would constitute cruel and unnatural treatment. Imagine that can't send someone from Ireland to Scotland because Scottish prisons are so bad it would be considered cruel to send someone there. Somebody really needs to take a look at what is going on in Scotland. Uh, anyway, he said they won't be detained for long because Article 6 of the ECHR requires the state to provide a trial within a reasonable time. 
He said, well, I dealt with a case yesterday where the co-accused was remanded in 2021 and cannot reasonably expect a trial before 2025. The case has some unusual features, but remand periods of two to three years are now very far from uncommon. And I hope as soon as they found innocent that they sue the government and Angela Constance in particular for breaching their human rights. And it's absolutely vital that they do. So a Scottish government spokeswoman said the proposal to pilot judge only our trials is a recommendation of a review carried out by Lady Dorian, second, uh, Scotland's second most senior judge, a woman who desperately wants to be se uh, Scotland's most senior judge. But also, if you think it's only going to end with our trials, then think again. Remember, they have got control of the police now. They've got the Lord Advocate on the cabinet. They want control of the judges if they don't... Um, get enough convictions they'll fire the judge they'll own the entire judiciary they're removing juries from the trials i mean what price justice in scotland it's trials because they and the, the moment you say anything against the smp they'll send their stasi round the stasi will pick you up lock you up try you you're done 20 years in prison never seen again nobody's covered it and they'll just be told broken the rules and that'll be it no appeals nothing that's what's coming for Scotland. And that is what's coming under the, the, the rules, this law that they're trying to bring in. And who's bringing it in? Ali fucking Baba. Because that's the kind of world he comes from. That's his culture. That's his background. Total and complete compliance of the state or you get locked up. It needs to be fought. You know, Scotland has got a long history of fighting against fascism, against overt situations. One only has to look at all the Scottish regiments throughout history who fought hard, long and well. Well, it's up to the Scottish people now to stand up. And this is the biggest battle of your own because this isn't dying on a foreign field. This is in the battle in your own backyard. You are fishing. You are fighting in someone's house. And you need to stand up and deal with it because otherwise you'll just be a compliant bunch and you'll be pushed down and they'll have these secret police watching neighbor spying on neighbor father spying on son brothers spying on each other and whoever speaks out and says anything against the SMB will find themselves hauled up in front of a kangaroo court tried convicted and away and no one will ever see them again and no one will ever know and that's what you're fighting for I'm stopping and coming up I really think that this does represent one of the greatest threats to the future of Scotland in terms of freedom, of expression, of your rights, of your liberty, of the right to raise your children as you see fit, to have control of your own justice system. Justice must never belong to the government. It must never belong to the executive. It must only ever belong to the people. And what they're pushing here is the removal of that justice out of the hands of the people and into the hands of a small cabal at the top who will decide in advance not just what laws they will impose but they'll decide in advance whether you've broken them or not before you're even told because they will just say you're guilty before you even walk into a court because the judge knows that's the decision that's expected of him. You need to fight it and you need to fight hard against this and they need to go. And you've got to remember this, SNP people, you're the ones who are most likely to be wheeled in. The SNP supporters are the ones most likely to be wheeled into a court, no jury, and told you're guilty and sent to a jail so bad other countries refuse to extradite to Scotland because the jails are so bad. And you're still going to vote for these people? Well done. You really are mental. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. This, like I say, is probably the last one of the day, unless some breaking news happens, in which case, run upstairs, do another video. Uh, may well get uh, a little flash video later, but that's it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, a good Monday. It's been a good spread of stories today. So uh, take care, enjoy your evenings, and I will speak to you later. Bye.